Hello everyone, my name is Alden Gagnon of Alden's Energy Healing, and this is a full moon in Virgo by proxy Crystal Reiki Healing with ASMR elements. You can use this video to relax, receive Reiki to set your intentions, to release what no longer serves you. And you can use this video anytime three days before or after any full moon in Virgo, anytime the moon is in Virgo, or anytime you want to work on the themes in this video. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm just going to put some Chicky Botanica Forest Bra Bathe Evergreen Mist on my hand. already picking up a few things from the collective so just wanted to get that started for those of you who don't know me i am alden gagnon of alden's energy healing i'm an advanced crystal master through hibiscus moon and a reiki master through cat low and luna eight and i have been had a practice for about six years and this is part of my full moon and new moon energy healing series so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started so I'm just going to start by spraying this Chiki Botanica Forest Green Evergreen Mist around the auric field. Because I'm already pretty connected to the collective. This is wonderful. It smells like pine. Like you're walking in a woodland forest in the winter time. Our themes for the full moon in Virgo are sacred self-care taking time for a sacred pause, releasing perfectionism, because full moons are all about releasing, and releasing habits that no longer serve you, while also making space for new habits that do serve you to come into that. And one last little thing is earth energy. I'm just looking at my notes if you were wondering. Earth energy. Virgo is an earth sign really leaning into that sense of earth energy so that's why I have this um, forest bathe evergreen mist here and also Virgo is very detail oriented so taking time to appreciate small moments and small details and that ties in a bit with sacred pause and here we have a Mrs. Meyer's snowdrop candle going along with that feeling of being in a winter forest. now we're going to call in Reiki, crystal medicine, earth energy, spirit guides, animal allies, ancestors, angels, the four corners of the earth, all elements, and any other high vibrational entities who are here to support us today, such as fae, goddesses, and other energies that are of the highest vibration and here to support us in our time and in our healing and we pray that all healing done here today is correct and for the good of all and that it may heal us all on a cellular level and that um, we really take this time to create the intentions of sacred pause noticing the small details being grateful for what we have releasing perfectionism and habits that no longer serve us while also making room for habits that do serve us as well as just using this time in this healing video through space and time for the purposes of self-care and I pray that everyone who comes into the contact with this video today every entity may be positively impacted in some way and so it is and so it is and so it is 
And now I'd just like to take a moment for you, I'm sending Reiki into this candle, for you to really consider what habits that are no longer serving you that you'd like to release. Maybe it's staying up late so then you don't get quite enough sleep and something like that. And then think about releasing those habits and them really burning in this fire. Mm -hmm. And having released that with intention, now sending the intention of a habit you want to build. So maybe that's going along with this intention of uh, like getting into bed 30 minutes earlier, an hour earlier, something like that. This Virgo is all about the habits and the small details. And then that supports your self-care too, right? Wonderful. We pray that all work done here today is correct and for the highest good of all. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Great. Sun Essential Essences, Moon Goddess Isis. Just going to smoke, cleanse, sane of the space before I move into fully connecting with the collective with the Reiki. Although, honestly, we've been pretty connected from the outset of the video. And if you're new to my little corner of the internet, to the Alden's Energy Healing Community, welcome. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for your support and your pre continued presence. I can, really, I can really feel it, and it really makes me so honored and happy. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time to practice the support of self-care swirling the smoke of the moon goddess through your auric field really allowing all that no longer serves you to be released those habits that we were thinking of earlier <sighs> through the front of your auric field and now through the left side hmm, excuse me over your crown Ooh, that just was like a I felt like a lid opening up and wind rushing through <laughs> and now on your right side sensing a lot of dense energy here getting like a little kink in my shoulder even um, really sensing that some folks are having trouble releasing things so I mean it's great because it's the full moon of Virgo it's a t this video is about all about release so we will work on that today and for those of you who are wondering, because I feel like people are wondering, I don't normally do this, but the crystals I'm using today are Lepidolite, Aragonite, as well as Garnet. And maybe Red Jasper as well, but I'm honestly going to see how I'm feeling as it goes along. I just went down your back with the smoke. Getting right at your lower back, around your sacrum, if you feel comfortably laying, you're not getting burned or anything. Just being very cleansed. And underneath you, beneath your root chakra, near your earth star chakra, really, really cleansing that in that grounding space so that you are fully connected to the earth. And if you have access to it, after this, go outside and like, put your hands on the ground or if you're like me and you're in the city and in the northern hemisphere so it's cold um if you have a plant or something just like touch the you know the soil in the plant help earth yourself a little bit get connected to that earth energy a great ritual for this this full moon wonderful now just creating arcs of the smoke all around your field. This was really, really needed. I don't know if you can feel this too. And front back, back to front. Mm. Just 
swirling through all your chakras, all the way down, flushing out anything that no longer serves you. This is a big time of release and grounding. I can already feel it. Sticky Botanica spray again. Throw it on my hands. And now we will connect with Reiki more officially. Getting a lot of dense energy here. I'll bring up your field a bit in your root. So I'm going to place the symbol of transmutation at your root. I'm going to bring your field back down. <sighs> Placing the symbol of transmutation at your root. I'm actually being called, it's funny, <laughs> to use the red jasper right now. So here's red jasper. And I'm going to use this to connect. And now you can think or say out loud, I receive the Reiki. And I also receive the energy of the red jasper. Red jasper is a super grounding stone, connects with earth energy, connects to the root and the earth star chakras. <sighs> Sending you healing and support. Drawing the symbol of transmutation at your root also at your sacral space because those are very much intertwined and now down at your earth star chakra which is like five or six feet below the base of your body and now remembering to just continue breathing you might be feeling some thicker energy and not in like a negatively dense way in a very high, uh, in, in the sense that there's a lot of energy accumulating um, by your root because we're going to move a lot through there today. So it might feel like a tingliness or a weighted blanket. You know that it is all for the highest good of all. And it's part of the healing. going to swirl this red jasper through our field to get started with the crist more specific crystal reiki portion of our session. We've done a lot of cleansing and releasing and connection and really energetically prepping the space. It's so important. Because if you're too busy holding on to stuff that no longer serves you, you aren't open to the universe to receive new blessings into your life. And the stuff's really transmuting in the candle today. And now I'm just going down your right side. It doesn't have to be a physical space, it can also be an energetic space. Really releasing whatever is down emotionally, energetically, physically down the right side of your body that no longer serves you. If you are tensing your shoulder up like this or clenching your hand, like release, release, release. Release any of that muscular tension that doesn't serve you and picture this through line of energy going out the right side of your body wherever it ends. <sighs> no. Down the lower part of the right side of your body. <sighs> really releasing it with the red jasper here. Wonderful. <sighs> oh, wow, I'm jumping jasper. <laughs> Sensing, maybe.
maybe some sciatica or something in like your right hip some dense energy there just moving through it scraping out that side of the pelvic bowl right now in Celtic wisdom the pelvic um, space is considered to be a sacred bowl, a sacred vessel, and scraping it out is so important from a metaphysical perspective to help really clear out that, that energy. Swirling through your pelvic bowl, now on your left side as well with the red jasper. Helping to release all that no longer serves you. Now down. Wonderful. Pulling that energy all the way down. All the way to your earth star chakra and placing the red jasper there. How's that feel, huh? Lots of major release happening right now. I got the sense a couple minutes ago that I never got to say it that like felt like someone really wanted to scream or cry when I was working on the right lower half of your body releasing through that so just like honoring that in whatever way is you know safe and supported for you now we're working with some garnet garnet's wonderful wonderful for earth energy and it helps you let go of what is harmful and hold on to what is good. So really letting go of those habits that no longer serve us. It's a beautiful shape, like the full moon, like the universe. also great for the root chakra, the earth star chakra, and the heart chakra. I like using garnets to represent ovaries as well to help heal any sort of womb space issues there to help support that. Swirling the garnet through your auric field both fluffing it up and empowering it as I move the garnet through your field. I didn't even realize this, but it kind of matches my lipstick. That's fun. <laughs> love, we love coordinated moments. Continue breathing. Breathing deep into your pelvic bowl. Imagine yourself breathing all the way to the base of your body, to the tips of your toes, to your pelvic bowl, <sighs> to the bottom of your auric field, swirling this through your back, <sighs> along your sides, above, and down. Wonderful. And now I'm going to bring your field up again, swirling through your root. how you have those like um for when you're washing dishes like the long sticks the little sponge on the top that's how i'm imagining <laughs> swirling out your root right now <sighs> releasing any energy that no any any bad habits any perfectionism any limiting beliefs that are really stored in this very physical realm of your body
appreciating these moments of sacred pause, these little moments you've taken, this long moment you've taken for yourself, really, this time to release and reset is really important and sacred. Now imagine I'm beaming Reiki, or feel the Reiki beaming to your palms, or where your palms would be. Placing the garnet in either one of your palms or where your palms would be. Wow, a lot of energy just released there. Hmm. And now I have some wonderful pieces of lapidolite. And lapidolite is wonderful for letting go of harmful habits. It's also a very calming and anxiety-reducing stone. And it supports self-care. But especially for the aspect of letting go of habits that no longer serve us is why I wanted to bring it in today. Even though it has many, many wonderful functions. <laughs> really moving through your third eye here. Allowing those tingly sensations, allowing yourself to release any limiting beliefs or reasons or mental blocks as to why you might be holding on to that perfectionism or that habit that no longer serves you. Sweeping the lapidolite all around your field, sort of pulling the energy over you like a lovely veil. Feeling that sacred energy, that sacred space. Swirling it at your crown and at your root at the same time, each piece. Feeling a channel of light connecting each piece of lapidolite, surging through you, supporting you in transmuting and releasing all that energy that no longer serves you, as well as replacing it with sacred self-care and supportive energy. to your third eye and your whole auric field. The birds have come to visit us to say hello. Help cleanse our fields with their song. Remind us that spring is coming soon. what no longer serves us and step into the light. And so it is. Mm. Oh, that made me 
me feel sort of dizzy, so I assume that was very intense for you as well. It's really sealing in that intention, that healing. Wonderful. Placing one lipidolite at your crown. And then one lipidolite near the jasper at your root. evergreen scent. Wonderful. Last but not least, we have this lovely, lovely piece of aragonite. I always say aragonite, you know, radiates out in all directions, help you, helps you shine like the star you are. Another really wonderful thing about it is that aragonite really um, is has like a deep essence and sense of earth energy and so we're using it today to help bring in that intention we have of earth energy and how it can, we can really support ourselves with that sensation of earth energy start swirling it at your solar plexus, at your core, and now radiating it out through your entire auric field. Feeling that earthy, woody, sacred energy really embracing you and holding you and reminding that you are safe and you are held. That's really the um, main sort of mantra you could say of the root chakra is you are safe. I'm safe. When people have imbalanced root chakras, it tends to be because they do not feel safe. Or maybe they really truly haven't been at some points in their life. And then that imbalance has continued to manifest in other ways. Apologies for all the cars going by right now. I hope one day to have a more quiet space to do this, to make these videos for you. At least we have the bird visitors. Continuing to radiate that aragonite through your field. Really, really feeling it, supporting you, holding you, loving you, honoring all that you are, and grounding you as well, swirling it through your root, giving that sensation of earth energy through your earth star chakra, and now up to your crown, and now your third eye your throat, now your heart, and now your solar plexus, mm, that was a good release, and now your sacral space, and now your root again, and your earth star again, and swirling it all around your field. Sealing in the healing, creating a wonderful, radiant aura. I feel like the work we did in your entire field with the red jasper and the garnet is pretty solid already, but just, you know, a little extra at the moment. Honoring those sacred, special little details. And now down your back. Wonderful. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Really feeling yourself grounding into the earth, connected to the earth, creating a sacred space for yourself, and being held in a sacred space. 
a safe space. You are safe. So it is. So it is. So it is. Closing out the circle, sending the Reiki all the way back to you, all the way back to the collective. Placing the aragonite. Wonderful. Finishing the healing. We are very grateful and thanks Source Energy, Crystal Medicine, Reiki, Spirit Guides, Animal Allies, Elements, Fae, Angels, Ancestors, and all other high vibrational beings who are here today to just support us in our healing journey. We pray that all healing done here today is correct and for the good of all through space and time, and that everyone who has come into contact with this healing is positively impacted, and we are very grateful for the healing that we have all received here today. We now ground ourselves in earth energy and close out this circle with gratitude and grace. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you so much, my friends. I really appreciate you being here on this magical full moon in Virgo. And I hope that you enjoyed this session. If you are still awake, if you are still here, I'm grateful for you. Please comment three little tree emojis below to honor that earth energy, as well as anything that resonated with you or spoke to you in this video experiences you had. And please also like and subscribe if you have not already. I'm very grateful to you and I will see you for the next new moon. Many blessings. Bye.